I don't think humans are born perfect. I think that we need to be shaped throughout our lives and, and pared down and grown. And that's what forging feminine character looks like. It looks like nurturing that very inner core of your, yourself. It's remembering that it's possible to change. You know, I used to think, oh, I'm just kind of lazy and that's just like the way I am and I'm always gonna be that way. But that wasn't true. I was able to grow. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I run the blog called Mrs. Midwest. If this is your first time joining, I want to give you an especially warm welcome. And to all my returning subscribers and viewers, you guys, as per usual, are amazing. This community is growing like wildfire. And I just want to continually remind you that if you've ever felt alone in your beliefs, if you've ever felt like no one understands you, I hope that you remember that there is literally thousands of other women who feel the same way you do. I think to celebrate this milestone of reaching thousands of viewers, we should do a live video. So if that interests you, comment below. I did not approach my blog ever thinking I would become a YouTuber, but I'm really having a lot of fun with it. And I really appreciate all of the encouragement you guys have been sending to me as I've been putting in this time and effort on these videos. So you guys are wonderful and I'm really, really happy that I have you for my subscribers because you're seriously the best people. As you know, we've been working through a series on femininity. Today we are going to do a bit of a capstone topic, which is cultivating femininity within the area of character. The reason I like to talk about feminine character is because it's something that you actually have a bit of sway over. You can develop your character over your lifetime, whereas you can't really change your personality too much. Your natural instincts are always kind of kind of be there. And, and your heart is really fickle. And again, you don't really have a lot of control over your heart. But your character is something made up of qualities and virtues that you've honed in on and nurtured throughout your lifetime. So character is an incredibly important area to cultivate femininity because out of our character, we will be able to nurture others, nurture ourselves, nurture our families, and nurture our communities. Again, nurturing, beautifying, and creating is, is true femininity. Those are the qualities of femininity. So as we nurture our character, we will actually be, be pouring into kind of this cyclical fountain where we pour into our character, but because of that, our character can be poured out onto others and nurture others and, and to spread that positive femininity into the world. So as you lean into your character, you can lean into your naturally feminine traits. Character unites all aspects of femininity and it allows us and enables us to, to nurture and to beautify and to create. Women instinctively know how to nurture, but a strong character helps us nurture better. Character rich in the virtues of discipline, kindness, faithfulness, and loyalty will allow us to nurture our husbands, our families, and in the community and ourselves. I know a lot of my feminine women out there have the desire to be a wife someday. I've heard that from a lot of you. And, and as we develop our character, we can have those qualities necessary to be an effective and helpful and life-giving wife. You know, good character doesn't mean that you're gonna be perfect. It just means that you have worked on your weaknesses and, and developed virtues. A strong character will help you nurture your children. It will help you be a wife. It will help you even in your career and in your friendships. Character is the thing that we can fall back on in hard times. You know, when we're going through difficult times, our hearts are going to feel weak and frustrated and, and our minds are going to struggle. But character can be forged no matter who you are, no matter what your personality is. Strong character that you can fall back on will help you get through moral conundrums, 
difficult times and trials in your life, in your marriage, in your motherhood. Good character helps us make life-giving decisions. And as I've talked about, you know, I like to try to live wholesomely as much as I can. And, and when I've been able to forge that character, it's been easier to make decisions that guide me into that wholesome lifestyle. A woman outfitted in the character of faithfulness, patience, kindness, and loyalty will be a much more effective wife and mother and homemaker and community member than someone who shies away from qualities of patience and faithfulness and loyalty. Good character, regardless if you're a man or a woman, is so crucial to help you navigate life strategically and to make good choices and to, and to grow into who you are as a person over a lifetime. A person of good character doesn't necessarily have this perfectly blessed looking life. There's no correlation between whether or not you're a blessed person and whether or not you're gonna encounter sickness or struggle or financial hard times. But a person of good character can make wise decisions that will often avoid a lot of, of self-inflicted pain. You know, we can avoid a lot of self-inflicted troubles when we make decisions out of good character and morals. And in turn, that nurtures ourselves, our lives, and sets us up in such a stable place that we can in turn nurture children, or a husband, or a household, or our community. So the importance of feminine, positive, nurturing character is that it will equip us to be highly effective in our lives. But if we live out of a place of weak character, we will constantly only be focused on ourselves, only able to help ourselves, and only able to, to reach as far as ourselves. But good character enables us to reach outside of ourselves with the qualities of patience, kindness, strength, discipline, etc. Character can be created, it can be forged, it can be, be made as you live your life. You know, I have had to do this. I am not a disciplined person. I've always struggled with laziness and, and with not trying my hardest and not trying my best and feeling fear of putting myself out there and fear of trying because I didn't want to fail, fear of failure. I was so prideful that I, I was afraid of failing so I'd never try, so I'd be lazy and it was this never ending thing, you know? But as I've tried to work on my character, especially, you know, in my religion, you know, I'm a Christian, but even for my unbelievers, I love you. We can build character irregardless of that. You know, we can pour into that moral fortitude and we can identify our weaknesses. And that's a very important key that I want to talk about. Identify your weaknesses so you can work that muscle and grow stronger. If I never admitted that I was lazy, I would be in denial my whole life, you know, and I would never be able to say, Kate, that's a, that's a weakness in you. And so because of that, I've learned that I need to take a step back and focus on, on working through that laziness with discipline and building up my discipline so that when I want to falter in housework, when I want to falter with this blog or by dieting or whatever, I can fall back on that discipline. Whereas before, when I was lazy, I'd fall back and there would be no discipline to catch me and I would just fail. You know, my life has improved because I identified my weaknesses in my character. We all have weaknesses. We all have areas where we can improve. You know, some people have anger problems or they're very impatient. You know, they can work on building up that area of their life, building into character traits of patience, fortitude, and kindness so that when life gets tough, their natural reaction won't be anger or impatience or frustration. Instead, they can lean on that forged kindness and patience. You know, I don't I don't think humans are born perfect. I think that we need to be shaped throughout our lives and and pared down and grown. And that's what forging feminine character looks like. It looks like nurturing that very inner core of your, yourself. And and it's not being it's, it's remembering that it's possible to change. You know, I used to think, oh, I'm just kind of lazy and that's just like the way I am and I'm always gonna be that way. But that wasn't true. I was able to grow. You know, I've been able to keep a clean house. 
which probably never would have happened before. You know, I've been able to change and I think anybody can change. And again, we're not gonna be perfect, but it is a worthwhile pursuit. It is a noble pursuit to pursue character, to grow into better people that can that can live more stable lives and and in turn be more stable for our children and stable in our marriages. You know, again, we can't we can't prevent sickness from happening. We can't prevent turmoil, hard times, financial struggles, but it's all about the way we respond to those things. And your character will enable you to respond in a positive way and and to remain strong as you undergo those trials. And I know it's not easy. It hasn't been easy for me to, to put myself out here on YouTube and to remain routined with, with putting up my videos, but it's that discipline that I'm trying to forge that has helped me do that. Pulling down that pride in my life and trying to get comfortable with humility has been so difficult, but it's helped me get more intimate in my relationships because people feel like they actually know me now, <laughs> you know? And so as I've nurtured this character, as I've tried to be, to nurture those those icky parts of myself, I've been able to be so blessed by it. I've been able to have deeper friendships and relationships because I'm not trying to be prideful and perfect all the time. I'm not as lazy as I used to be. You know, it's still like a natural tendency to just wanna like chill, but I've been able to grow. And, and I want you to know today that that you don't have to be stuck where you are. You can always improve. You don't have to be that impatient girl your whole life. You don't have to be that, that rude person. You can grow into better character. And I think this is something that is a worthwhile pursuit because at the end of our lives, how wonderful would it be to be able to share this life experience and wisdom with grandchildren or the younger generation, you know, and help people be nurtured in life. Take time to write down what you think your weak spots are and, and what you want to improve. You know, it's possible. It is so possible. Read blogs about the areas you want to improve. Read articles, watch videos, Pray about it if you're religious, you know, journal about it, make it a part of your life and you will see improvement. You always have the power to improve your character and improve parts of your life. And so today I encourage you, do not be frustrated if you're not great at every area you know you can grow and as you nurture yourself you will you will be able to fill yourself up with mighty levels of energy so you can nurture other people and as you nurture your character even as you nurture the qualities of patience loyalty discipline kindness all of that you can take with you to nurture other people, to be effective in your career, to be effective in your marriage and your relationships and, and what have you. Again, we're not perfect, we're not perfect people, but the beauty of life is, and the beauty of humans is that we can change, we can improve, we can get worse, but we can get better. And, and I think that nurturing our character and keeping an ear to the ground of, of what we've got going on will help us be be honest with ourselves about what we need to change you know and and where we need to improve and throughout life we can be sanctified we can be beautified and purified as we move forward in our character and and we can make the world a better place because we'll be more stable <laughs> we'll be more stable people and effective and and nurturing and and feminine women as you nurture your character, pay close attention to your natural feminine qualities of kindness and compassion and emotional availability because on average, many women have those qualities. So nurture that in you. Don't be ashamed. Don't just focus on, oh, I need to be strong. I need to be intense and courageous. You know, nurture your natural qualities as well as your weaknesses. Bring out the best in your natural character and, and focus on that. So in total, focus on nurturing your weaknesses. Focus on nurturing your strengths and remember that a good character will help you be majorly effective in your life and in nurturing others. And that is something that is always a lovely and worthwhile pursuit.
Thank you so much for watching. This topic always gets me so excited because there's so much hope. There's so much hope that we can improve as people and that really makes me really happy. If you're interested in more of this content, please check out my written blog. And if you want to know what I do on a daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram. I always post on my stories. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderfully blessed and feminine day.